Very pleased. Again, good day by the defense. Um, offense, I think their mentality and how they competed was much better. So, um, you know, it was exciting. I think we handled the, the elements better. I think uh, the players really uh, took the challenge and came out there and made the best of it. So, again, a good learning opportunity from yesterday and glad to see how they handle it today. Did you uh, change uh, the format of practice? Uh, yeah, a little bit less individual. A little bit less individual, and then got in the team. Uh, maybe a few less reps in each session. You got uh, a couple of teams around the league yesterday, lost a couple of guys, hamstrings, whatever. Do you hold your breath tomorrow a little bit? No. I, you know what? I don't think, you know, I, I haven't looked at what's happening with teams around and, and uh, the injuries and things like that. I think we're more based on how we feel and where we're at. And uh, our training staff, I think this is probably a good time to talk about them. They've done a great job, Scott and our strength staff, Milo. You know, I rely a lot on them, just uh, where we are as a team. And I think, um, you know, their advice was to maybe cut a few reps here and there to get a productive practice today, and they were on it. So, um, you know, I'll have uh, meetings with them this afternoon, and uh, we'll base tomorrow off of that. How is Pastor handled being moved back inside? Yeah, you know, it's, um, you know, I think he's handling it with um, – Great poise, I guess, the word humility. Uh, it's tough. He's starter, and now he's coming in, and, and uh, he's going to be a guy that can swing for us, play guard and tackle, and uh, love his attitude, love his mentality into it, and he's really challenging. You know, you've seen him behind Linder and getting some reps there. So, you know, I think we're just trying to find out, you know, his role for us and, you know, where we can best utilize him. And then uh, in regards to Odrick, do you foresee him playing more snaps than like Red did last year? Red yeah, was like right he, he has the ability to. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Because you could see him on third down. So he could be first, second, and third down. How is uh, I haven't heard yet. I haven't talked to our trainers about that. So, um, I, you know, I know that he had some tightness, you know, going into today in his back. So I don't know if that it tightened up on him or what. And you said like a week ago, so go he had plateaued. Is he still on the plateau, or is he getting better, or how's he? Staying? Well, he's been, you know, he hasn't practiced, you know, you know, at full speed. So uh, I, I like how he's going in there and handling the treatment and things like that. That's really what he can do right now. So uh -huh. until he gets back on the field, but uh, so you know, it's hard to tell where he is. And yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. Leap and how's that? Yes, he, I, I think I talked about him a couple of weeks ago about his mentality and how he goes about it, and uh, where it's more internal from him. And to see him having some success, he's playing with a lot of confidence right now. So, I, like I've mentioned before, that corner spot, it's good to see we've got size, we've got length, and we've got great competition there. It's going to be a fun uh, position to watch in training camp. Yes, with uh, Julius and Mercedes and some of the other options you have, what does a guy like Nick Jacobs bring that's maybe kind of unique to the Titans? Well, I think it's unique because of his size. He, uh, he was, to, what, 290 pounds and could move pretty well. Uh, I think the challenge for Nick is that when you watch him block, he, you put a check mark by his name. He can block, he can catch, he can do these things. His biggest challenge is he needs to do it consistently. So not three good ones, one, you know, one bad one. He needs to do that uh, more often. And that's been my conversation with him is about consistency, but has the talent. You got to see more of the, uh, the younger safeties, uh, you know, get more snaps with Sample out and yeah. some of the other guys. What have you kind of taken from, from the extra snaps? Well, I think Matt Daniels, he's a guy that has caught my eye the last couple of practices. Uh, he hasn't had a, a lot of opportunities, and I think for us, we were kind of watching him see what he could do. Uh, I know I challenged our coaches the last couple of days to get those guys more reps because of the injury. Uh, he's showing up. Um, I, I think he's playing faster than what I anticipated. All the way back, or are you still holding? He seems to be. No, he seems to be all the way back. Uh -huh. You know, I think um, you know the way he's competing, and you know, but that's what four reps a period. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You mentioned uh, special teams at the beginning. Um, when you have a game day roster, how many guys do you need to be able to play all four? Well, the, it's kind of changed. I think my first year here, we were talking about when you're really good, a special teams unit has seven or eight core players, guys that play all four core teams. Um, now it's a little bit by committee. You know, it might not be quite that many, but, um, you know, you got more depth than guys. You know, last year at the linebacker spot, we had some guys that maybe weren't as valuable special teams wise as they were to the defense. I think you're seeing a team now, a group of guys that have value defensively and special teams wise. And that's where you can have improvement. Can Leroy be one of those guys? Yes. All right. Leroy, Leroy could be a four core guy. That's correct. You go back to Alan Robinson. Uh, we saw glimpses last year. 
Do you like where he started this year in terms of, I mean, he's flashed even more? Yeah, I think, um, I don't know if I mentioned it to you or not, but I think with Allen Robinson, uh, the challenge is for him to, is to play angry, you know, to play, uh, you know, where he's competing, you know, to get the ball, competing in all his routes. I think he's extremely competitive, but, um, I mean, he's got a 40-plus vertical jump, and, uh, you know, we want to be able to throw it up to him and know he's going to come down with the ball. And sometimes when you do that in, in training camp, when we got the pads on, you'd like to see that part of him. I believe he has that, and uh, hopefully we see that. Could you could you see him just 50-50 balls, kind of just instead of him being open, throw it to him covered and say, go get it? Yeah, that's what you'd like to get to, without a doubt. You'd like to have the quarterback, because we challenge Blake to do that. Hey, give the receiver a chance. Give him an opportunity. You know, trust that he'll come down with it. So you got to build that confidence with the receivers. You were 27th in special teams last year. What do you have to do to get better? Well, I think our, you know, more our core guys. And I think that when we return our returners, mm -hmm. you know, punt returners and kick returners, I think that's where we got to make the big jump. Sometimes if you're going from seven yards of return and punt to over 10, you can jump up really fast. So I think that's where we can make our greatest, um, you know, gains are in, in the return game. Yeah, some of the secondary joked about Jeremy Harris always being the guy showing up on film, but is there some truth to that? And yeah, what did, what he's, you, like? you know what, he has. Uh, you know, I, I think um, I'm reserving judgment, I guess, until we see it in training camp, but what I've seen now has really has been a great surprise. He's playing more consistently. Uh, he's playing with more confidence. Uh, I think that he, he was a guy that needed to take special teams. You know, that was, he needed to see the importance of playing special teams. I know that was maybe a little bit in question his first two years. That is not in question what we've seen in OTAs. So I'm hopeful that he's maturing because he does have the length and uh, the size that we're looking for. So I know he's had a really, really good off season. So, you know, that, uh, hopefully we're, you know, he's made gains that way. Hey, last day tomorrow, Gus, uh, will you guys go as scheduled or will you meet today and say, yeah, we'll, you know, we're we'll going to add today. this, we're going to add that? Yeah, we'll, we'll meet today. I know last year we had it and, um, you know, some of the plays were cut. But, um, you know, I, as far as how many, and but we're definitely going to go out there today or tomorrow. Um, what style of practice will be, how many reps, that will be decided based on how we are with our trainers. Bortles said he has problems 11-11 uh, to his old mechanics. He's okay. Who said that? Bortles. Okay. Is he getting any better at that? Or have yeah, I think so. I think that, um, you know, his, I think his short game, his intermediate game is, is really showing up. I think the one area that maybe we, we've got to challenge him more on is the long, the long part of his game. But, uh, you know, to, to, you know, to back him up on this, we haven't done a lot of it in practice. Um, whether it's, you know, 110 and how many times can you send a guy on, you know, deep post routes to work on it. You know, we're trying to find ways to do that, um, you know, and take care of our players. But sometimes we, we need to get to that level and help him gain confidence in that part. Are you guys on the end of today, Sergio Brown, Copeland, and Sterling? Yes, I think that was a three. Yeah, just time for time precautionary. Yeah, I, I, those guys won't. It was like John Latula, you know, he was right on the edge. He felt really good and wanted to go out there. We said, well, we'll watch you real close. He ended up getting some reps. I think Sergio and them were really close like that too, but it was oh, our but choice. None, none of them were heat related from yesterday, correct? No. Okay. Did, did you, you, you reach the end the mayor? Yes, I did. Did you get an electric bill or something? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I heard I'm about that this morning, so I'm, a, I'm aware of that. Uh, no, I didn't talk to him about that. I just congratulated him. Off-season in from August. Could you have asked any more from Blake in terms of his approach since the end of last season? Well, yeah, I think, you know, he competed, and we're going to ask more. But we're going to ask more out of all those guys. You know, I think, uh, you know, I think, you know, you always say, what, what has changed this year compared to last year? I think this year we're making a bigger emphasis from this time period, this next six weeks or seven weeks. I mean, we've kind of guided them right through it, exactly what we're looking for, what we had hoped for. Um, it sounds to me like there's going to be more guys in Jacksonville this year than in years past, which is, you know, is, is good, I guess. If, you know, some guys like to get away and that's how they get themselves ready. Some guys want the structure. So, you know, it's uh, whatever they need. But, uh, you know, I think we're making more of an emphasis on that, that this time period we really need to compete through.